You are about to set off on a voyage round British satellite broadcasting. You'll visit our headquarters at Marco Polo House, home to five distinct channels of programmes. Our transmitter at Chilworth near Southampton, which sends them into space. Our own satellite, Marco Polo 1, which relays them exclusively to United Kingdom customers. And our centre at Leeds, which listens to those customers, then addresses their individual needs. By the end of the tour, you'll appreciate what connects these properties, what's behind the claim, you watch, we listen, and what gives BSB the edge. Your guide, Kieran Prenderville. Hello and welcome to a voyage round BSB in 10 minutes. Not by armchair, much as I'd like it, but it's a fitting place to begin and end our tour comfortably in front of the television. Now let's suppose it's 1990, I've got the two pieces of equipment I need to watch satellite television, I've got my antenna outside, in this case it's BSB's distinctive square aerial, or square aerial as they call it, and I've got my receiver, it sits down here in the cabinet along with the VCR, I could put it on top of the TV if I wanted, and it's this receiver which unscrambles the signal from space and turns it into a television picture. But as a new customer, I don't have that picture yet, all I've got is a message saying make a phone call. But I'm going to take the long way round. Stop one is Marco Polo House, the place the programmes come from. Advanced design on the outside, advanced technology on the inside. Now all transmissions from here are based on a new system specially designed for BSB, it's called DMAC. And DMAC is a technology which ensures that the signal which reaches you is as pure as it was when it left the electronic camera. And it's going to change the face of British television. Now in terms of picture quality, DMAC is to the current standard in use today, that's called PAL, what CD is to LP. It means clearer definition, no more vibrating patterns, blurry outlines, and the sound is digital stereo. But the big breakthrough is that DMAC allows BSB to encrypt its signal. It, it means basically that the broadcast is sent out in code and only if the viewer pays to see it will that signal be unscrambled and turned into pictures on the television screen at home. Now also at home will be the BSB receiver box. Let me just take the top off. Now I won't begin to explain what all these electronics do. I probably couldn't anyway. But it's this equipment which makes subscription or pay TV possible because DMAC allows BSB to turn each individual set on or off via the satellite. Another BSB innovation is the way pre-recorded programmes are broadcast. Instead of these cumbersome one-inch tapes, they're using these Betacam cassettes for programmes, titles, movies, commercials, well, just about everything. And they're banked up over here in correct running order in these playout machines. Each one of these, oh, libraries, I suppose you'd call them, represents a complete channel each containing a full day's programming. So we've got a channel here, we've got one over there, two behind me, and there's another one next door. And this is the unique commercials library. Tell the robot librarian which ones you want to make up a commercial break, and it'll nip round the shelves and assemble it. Where do you come from? I don't know. They just keep on coming. No pulse, no nothing. It's not a mark on them. All right, check out. This is where the films are transferred from 35mm film to videotape, and that's for the movie channel, of course. Incidentally, another benefit of the DMAX system is that films will be broadcast in a widescreen format, just like the cinema. Now, at the moment, that won't make a lot of difference to an ordinary set at home, but once widescreen sets become available, watching movies on BSB will be quite something. Live material, that'll come in from outside broadcasts such as sports events and pop concerts, as well as interviews and discussion programmes from studios in Marco Polo House itself, which are controlled by three presentation suites. And finally, it all comes together here in the master control room, 
where, remarkably, just one engineer watches the output of all five channels. BSB says it's the only control room of its kind in the world. From here, the engineer can monitor the technical quality and handle all the presentation systems. Videotape machines, mixer controls, character generator controls, that sort of thing. All coordinated by revolutionary software, unique to BSB, called Scope. He checks the lines, the circuits, and makes sure the signal goes down the fibre optic cable. And it comes up here at BSB's satellite control complex at Chilworth, on the Science Park of Southampton University. Here, programmes are encoded into DMAC, then put through a high-powered amplifier and beamed up to the satellite via this uplink or its backup. The design of the satellite is another reason why BSB has the edge where quality of viewing is concerned. It sits in orbit in a position 22,300 miles above the Earth where it can beam its signal in tailored pattern exclusively over the British Isles. The concentration and power of the signal, eight times that of Astra, which incidentally is focused on Luxembourg, is a reason why you need only the modest square reel to receive it. Somewhat larger is this antenna, the one that sends up commands to the spacecraft itself and monitors its progress. The people responsible for operating the satellite work here in spacecraft control. They're just about to put it through one of its periodic manoeuvres to correct a tilt caused by the sun's radiation. The orbital analysts here have planned exactly when to fire the thrusters on board, which adjusts its position. This computer is programmed to issue the command. See that trace? It tells them the movement has been carried out and Marco Polo 1 is perfectly positioned to beam down BSB programs. The signal also carries messages generated from here to individual customers, such as asking their receiver box to unscramble the movie channel. And the signal also carries information which gives you control over what your children watch. If, for example, you're unhappy about your family watching films which you feel are suitable only for over 18s, well, the first thing you do is key in your PIN number using the remote control. That gets you another page, rather like teletext. And here you can select what programmes you don't want to have on your set, unless, of course, you deliberately choose to view them. Useful, isn't it? And certainly more effective than putting videos on top of the bookshelf. Futuristic technology aside, there is another more human link between BSB and its customers. It's the Customer Management Centre and it's based here in Leeds. Good afternoon, BSB Customer Service. You're speaking to Maureen. How can I help you? BSB Customer Service, Karen speaking. Good afternoon, BSB Customer Service. My name is Sharon. How may I help you? Next spring, this place will be buzzing with 400 customer service representatives listening to consumers about what they want from the service and making sure they get it. Here at the moment, there are about 70 staff and they're already being kept busy. A gratifying number of calls coming in from people who've seen the BSB advertising campaign. And that status board, as they call it, tells them not only how many calls are coming in, but how many the computer expects to come in, which allows the managers to make sure there'll always be enough staff to take these calls. Yes, full details are contained in the pack. OK, goodbye. What sort of things are they getting in the pack? Good afternoon, BSB customer service. Alison speaking. Can I help you? This is happening just about every time I sit down with anybody. I try and ask them about who's calling and why and what they want. It is, Phone yes. calls come in, which I suppose is what they're here for, really, not to answer stupid questions from the likes of me. I'll just send you an information pack. Could I have your name, please? So let's assume BSB has gone live, let's go forward again to spring next year, and let's suppose that all these callers have had the right answers to the questions that they've all been asking, they've had the equipment installed, now they want to watch BSB. What happens now? In order to connect you to the satellite, I need to take a few details. Are you the account holder, Mrs Moore? First, obviously, the customer service reps get the customer's name and address, and then the equipment authorization and PIN numbers that come with the receiver box. Thank you. And could you tell me where you bought or rented your equipment from, please? From Comet. They key all this into the Admal computer system in Bradford. It belongs to Next PLC and holds every address in the country, along with details such as postcode, mail sort code, TV region and ACORN number. Demographic details that are a gift to advertisers. And how many people are there in your household? 
They enter further details. How many children under 12, for example, what parental control level they'd like to fix, what package of services they want. If they want to subscribe to the movie channel, they'll be asked how they want to pay. Well, it would cost £10.99 a month if you wanted to pay by statement. £9.99 a month if you wanted to pay by direct debit. At the moment, we have a special offer. If you pay by 12 monthly payments on direct debit, it would cost you £8.99, which is a saving of £2 per month. Would you be interested? Once all the information BSB requires about the customer is in the computer, the service will be switched on. So to get your five channels featuring the very latest movies, music, sport, news and features, all you need to do is call the BSB number, which is charged at the local rate, wherever the call comes from. Which is exactly what I'm going to do now. BSB customer service, Karen speaking, how may I help you? Marco Polo House, Chilworth. The satellite. Leads. What connects them? Interaction with the customer. Being customer centered is what makes BSB different. All the breakthroughs you've seen on this tour are designed to give BSB the edge in delivering a better quality, a more responsive service to the customer. You watch, we listen, and ultimately BSB delivers a better return on investment.